But I tell you the champs and the RTX 4090 is a load of rubbish, it's a load of bollocks, it doesn't really exist. Well, actually it does exist because there is a name 4090, but if we have a look at the product stack, have a look at this. RTX 4090, 9728 CUDA cores, hmm, 9728 CUDA cores, oh, 4080, Ah, oh, so the reality is... The RTX 4090 laptop is just an RTX 4080 with a lower TDP and slower memory. That's all it is. So they've just named it a 4090. Yeah, it sort of reminds me of a 4080 that's now a 4070 Ti. Uh, Nvidia, yeah, you're a funny bunch of folks there. Now, anyway, let's get into these 4080 laptops because they are game changing. And I'm going to tell you why they're game changing. And I'm going to tell you something very important that you need to know. It's something I've discovered that means that I'll only get the certain specs of 4080 because this feature is so important. But basically, you know, they're new GPUs, right? And the big deal about these things is you will now have thin and light gaming laptops or creator laptops or XPS 15 or whatever. And you'll be able to put a much more powerful graphics card in them because you can have an RTX 4080, okay, laptop that can be configured down to 60 watts. That is amazing. And we've already seen a lot of like 14 inch laptops like the, you know, Zephyrus G14, etc. You know, with RTX 4090, or should I say 4080? I don't know, we'll call it 49 just because we don't want to confuse you. You can fit these in thin and light laptops now, The you know, the top spec. Now, a lot of people think, oh, why would you do that? Why would you have such a high spec GPU where you're not even, you know, using all the power of it because you're only using 80 or 100 watts? And you can use up to 175 or whatever. Well, it comes down to, do you need the CUDA cores? You know, your workflow might need the CUDA cores. Your workflow might need the RAM, the extra RAM of having 16 gigs or, you know, the faster RAM. And here's the important thing you need to know. Look at this. This is something I found out. The NVIDIA encoder. You only get two encoders with the 4080 and 4090, okay? And that's a big deal. So these are the media encoders that, you know, help you stream, etc. And if you want the better quality, you need the two encoders. And also it makes things faster just having two encoders. So that goes for Premiere Pro and stuff like this. Anything that uses those encoders, having two of them will be a big deal. It's not just for streaming. It's going to be for content creation, etc. And that's where these things kill it. Those encoders on there, I've tested AV1 with, uh, you know, OBS and, you know, Premiere Pro and how fast they export. I've messed with all the settings. Those encoders are no joke. And you only get two of them on the 4080 and 4090. So, yeah, that's the way I think I'm going to have to go there. Although there's one thing here is these things are going to be better performance per watt. You're going to see much higher grade GPUs in much thinner packages. So for me, like for example, XPS 15, right, has a 3050, 3050 Ti. It could possibly do a 4080 now. You know, if they increase the thermal capacity of the next XPS 15, definitely the XPS 17 could do a 4080, no problem. And knowing Dell, they might even chuck a 4090 in it. But I am hoping the XPS 15 will at least have a 4060 or a 4070. You know, the amount you pay for those sort of premium laptops like the XPS 15, you want that sort of GPU. And that's why I don't use an XPS 15 now. 4 gigabyte 3050 Ti, it's not fast enough for what I want to do now. So anyway, yes, these things are going to be fast. You're going to see much more powerful GPUs in smaller laptops. Uh, what's the performance like? You know, no one knows the performance at the moment. But I've been told, oh, you know, through the grapevine there, up to sort of 40%. That's with the 4090 and the new CPUs, right? Up to, you know, it's not going to be 40% all the time. I've been told averaging about 30%. But anyway, catch you in the next one. These things are going to be awesome. Telly ho.